Welcome to another episode of Mostly Wrong Opinions. I am Tyrone, and you can find my Twitter handle. Not not my Twitter handle. No, I don't do Twitter. But my Instagram uh, handle here at yurp underscore atl. That's yurp underscore atl. That is my band. And also, if you're a fan of gaming, you can find me at twitch.tv slash yurpnationgaming. All right? And I am Devin. You can find me on Instagram at devinharris29. Uh, you can find some of my writing at geeksleeprepeat.com, and you can find me right here on Mostly Wrong Opinions. Bam! Bam! That's a little bad right there. Man, I got this fresh cut here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, okay. Got this that's fresh nice. cut done. The it's fade. super sharp. Mm-hmm. Had to look good. Because last time, uh, uh, some of my family members, I'm not going to say who, they were saying that my beard looked jacked up. Mm. And they were talking about your beard looks amazing. <laughs> It's just natural, it looks like this. It's just natural, right? (laughs) For smooth styles, S curls going on. For the man's look. What we got on the show today, man, we got the phenomenal, phenomenal show that's on Disney Plus. WandaVision! Wanda and Vision. Oh, we have five pets. This is our home now. I want us to fit in. Oh, this is gonna be a gas! My, My thing about WandaVision, man, it is incredible. It started out very, very slow. See, I, I don't know. I disagree with that. I've heard that before, but I liked the beginning. Ah. I liked it. I liked I liked the mystery, but only because I trust Marvel. I thought I, I figured we were going somewhere. If it if it if it went on too long, and if I didn't think we were going to go anywhere, then I'm with you. It'd have been terrible. But I, I trusted Marvel, and uh, I think I think that's, that's paid off. Okay. What do you think about this latest episode? Oh uh, man, this I, I'm gonna be honest with you. This latest episode was good, but the previous episode was better to me because it gave that last reveal mm-hmm. of uh, who was who was there that wasn't supposed to be there. <laughs> and this this episode looks good to me. Um, I I felt, um, man, I don't like that Hayward guy. <laughs> I hate that Hayward guy. Oh, man. the like the boss guy. Yeah, man, he's such an asshole. And, and I know, white spoiler alert for everyone. Watch the episode if you don't want to be spoiled about that. Then click back on here, mostly wrong opinions. But I'm about to get into a spoiler here. Um, I'm, I know it's a little bit later on into the sh- into the into the episode where this happens, but the vision that we see that's in the world is not the vision that is from the MCU movies. It's created from Wanda herself. She basically made and, and what it make it seems like. And I'm, uh, did, um, uh, did you comment on this? Uh, did you text me about this? That she basically made another Mind Stone. Uh, see, I thought they left all that stuff ambiguous. I wasn't. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I can't comment because we know she she left with Vision's body, so we don't know exactly where that. But no, she didn't leave with, with, with Vision's body. She did not. She left without it. Oh, okay. No, she she. She 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 saw it because Hayward took her into the to the facility, saw all the broken pieces of right. uh, of him, and then she touched his face, and she was like, "I can't feel you." <laughs> you know? Okay, so and then I'm, she I'm, left. I'm gonna t- I'm gonna tell you why I was confused about that. I was confused because this was a bad episode. This was a ter- I, I thought this was probably a shockingly bad episode, and a little bit uncharacteristic for the uh-huh. series as a whole. And it was bad because. It was too late. I didn't. I didn't care anymore. I was. I had already bought into the into the premise of the show. I didn't need them to explain why we were doing this TV thing. I was past that already. I was wondering that in the first few episodes, and maybe that's why you thought those first few episodes were were boring because they weren't answering that question. But after a while, you, yeah. after a while, you kind of bought into it, and you didn't care. You moved on. And this yeah. episode, do you remember? You remember um, Austin Powers? <laughs> He had a character, his name was Basil Exposition. Do you remember that character? You've got mail. Hello, Basil. Hello, Austin. Basil Exposition. Basil. Yeah. 
Yeah, Basil would show yeah. up and he would just explain things. So, and he, he would show up, explain things, and then leave. So, and when you're writing a story or, or a movie or something like that, writing exposition is usually the hardest thing because it's boring. It's, it's dull. Mm -hmm. And so people try to figure out a good way to fit the exposition into the story organically. Uh, Austin right. Powers was funny in that they, they did it super inorganically, right? It was just a character named Basil Exposition mm -hmm. would come up and just start explaining things. Oh, look, here's Basil. Hello, Exposition. Austin, let me bring you up to speed. Dr. Evil has hijacked a nuclear warhead from Kreplakistan. And this episode was the Basil Exposition episode of WandaVision, where pretty yeah. much the whole story paused while... Disney explained things, and most of the things they explained, I didn't care anymore. I I, I had moved on. I don't. I didn't. I wasn't exactly. interested in her childhood in Sokovia. I knew it was bad already. I and I figured she had something to do with like uh, TV shows, so I didn't care. And I I found myself like kind of drifting. No. I've loved it. This series has I thought has just been awesome, but this episode I I was not into. Okay. And that's probably yeah. why I was confused about what was going on, because yeah, I I think I think I my mind was just wandering around. I got you, man. I feel this. I feel slightly the same the same way on that, um, because yeah, I didn't really care for the whole Zakovia thing, and I I understand that they were talking about like oh that's where she got her love right. of, of movies from because she her she would watch the dick van dyke exactly. show with her parents and but, it's but like, see, like okay we saying, get it this episode is super important right you need this episode but it should have came by episode three yes or or <laughs> they should have peppered this in throughout the other the other um episodes all the other episodes are so short they're like 30 minutes and so they could have bumped these episodes up to 40 minutes and they but they could have peppered this a little bit along the way and they wouldn't have needed this this dull exposition dump of an episode and so i i i, I was I, I i was bored because like i said the, the story paused and i was more in, i was more interested in the story moving forward so right but it, was, right. it, it now, sucks to have this talk about one division like this because I have I've really loved every episode. I've, I've really been. Into have it. you Have you read any of the one division or or uh, Scarlet Witch uh, comics? Oh uh, yeah, of course. Okay. I haven't read the okay. one. I haven't, I, haven't, I, haven't read the, I haven't read the one that, uh, from what I understand, there's a specific comic that most of this is based off of, and it's fairly recent. And I haven't read that one, but I've I've read lots yeah. of Avengers, which Scarlet Witch is part of. So. Okay. Um, there's some com there's some confusion with me. It's like, you know, I'm I'm I love Marvel, and Marvel's really good at at, uh, at their movies and everything that they've done. Um, um, but my confusion here <laughs> is: is she good or is she bad? Because at a certain point in the comments, I, 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 I was rumored that she turns bad, right? Yeah. Yeah. So she, you know, I, she she has gone back and forth, and there is a pivotal comic book which i feel like they're really uh moving towards called house of m where she does some pretty effed up things and where she she essentially puts a i don't, don't want to say i don't know i'm not sure what she calls it it's like an illusion she like makes a new world i guess it's not an illusion it's real but she makes a whole new yeah. world where mutants are like going extinct so and and, and they've, wow. they've they seem to be really hinting at uh house of m in wandavision there was an episode where they drank wine, and the in the wine bottle, it was written in French, but you could clearly tell it if you interpret it to English, it said House of M. So I'm like, okay, I see where we're going. I thought they're gonna do that to have her change the universe so that uh, the the X Men could exist, but they seem to have backed away from that because now it seems like Pietro was fake the whole time. Yeah. He was not. It, that was not her reaching into some other dimension. That was just an illusion. That was fake. That that part still kind of confused me. Also, it's like if that's not that is not if that's not like a version of Pietro. Why does this guy have super speed? <laughs> yeah. How could how could she imitate his super speed? That's my only thing. You're you supposed know? to ignore that. Yeah. I don't know. But um, yeah. Okay. So the, that's pretty good. Um, 
But it, it, again, it just it pains me that we have to talk ne- we have to talk negatively about a show that I actually really like. Yeah, man. Um, I can't wait. I mean, this is great. It's a great show. We got one more episode next um, next week, and we will talk about the episode, and it will conclude the whole uh, season, the first season, and we'll talk about that. But I cannot wait for what's to come on Disney Plus from the MCU. The next thing up is going to be Falcon and the Winter Soldier, and then after that, it's going to be Loki, and then it's going to be What If. That's going to be really crazy. Yeah, What If, I think, will be awesome. It's gonna be great. But it's it's, it's be animated, crazy. and so I wonder if yeah. I, I wonder if that's gonna turn people off though, because animation uh, it's big in in Asia, but not so big in the U.S. So I I wonder if that's gonna turn people off. But I, I am really interested in it. Yeah, they um it was rumored that the uh, late great Chadwick Boseman recorded um some of his uh, his lines for what if already. Mm. That's what I've heard. Mm. What do you think they should um, do with Black Panther? This is going off tangent a little bit. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's it's a hard thing because, you know, Chadwick in, embodied that character so well and, and put so much of his essence into it. It's, it's, it I don't think they should recast the role of T- T'Challa. What they should do is just either have Shuri take over the mantle or I'm not opposed. I'm. I don't. I wouldn't like it, but I'm not opposed to them bringing back Killmonger and having some type of, um, you know, awakening that he's a good guy type of stuff. You in that that talking job? Hey, Auntie. But I wouldn't. That's not the route I would take. I would understand why they would take that take that route for like to to sell tickets or whatever, or to to sell the movie because Michael B. Jordan is such a, a big actor. But um, my thing is keep it within the royal. Well, he still is royal, but keep it within the immediate royal family. And I think it should be sure he's um, sure he's found, man. Uh, see, I, I guess I have a hot take on that. In that, I think um, I think they should recast. And the reason why I think they should recast is because <laughs> it's because this is too big. This is this is this has gotten bigger than Chadwick Boseman. And it sucks to it, it would it would be a shame if the biggest role in Hollywood, whoever gets cast, if they were to recast uh, T'Challa, mm-hmm. this would be the biggest role in Hollywood, and it's made for a black person. Has that ever happened? I don't think it has. So, it, it, white huh? people they've got James Bond, they've got Superman, they've it's got been, Spider Man, and they been, can have a zillion people play those characters. I don't want Black Panther to die with Chadwick. That that, 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 that's too. That's too much. That's realism. Too much there. To I me, think. I think. I think. Recast, me, I'm sorry. Just give me one second. If, I think if we recast, we mm-hmm. would give possibly an unknown actor the biggest role uh, ever. It, we, we we would give a black guy the role, the, the opportunity that Henry Cavill had, that, that Tom Holland had, and th- I've never seen that. It's. I'm sure it'll happen one day, but I think this, this is a great opportunity to elevate some young black talent to a level that we've never seen and i don't think this is disrespectful to chadwick boseman like I, when when uh, um heath ledger died that doesn't mean we can never have any more jokers no one even said that that wasn't even like a thought it's, and he won an oscar so why can't we have multiple people play t'challa i'm gonna give you i'm gonna give you a uh, uh i'm gonna give you a combatant to that uh, this MCU, and this is why I'm about to get into the whole MCU thing, is integrated so well within the the, the mythos <laughs> of you know the film genre. You know what I'm saying? It's like when you compare uh, what is that? Uh, Michael Keaton to George freaking Clooney. <laughs> okay, yeah, they're playing. They're both playing Bruce Wayne. But it's not connected within the same world. That's and I think Marvel is like these. We created this this whole world here. It's gonna be hard to convince the mind and the chill and children or whatever of there's a new guy that's playing this. No, hold on, hold on. It's, it, 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 
that that's one thing. The uh, the second thing is, I kind of feel like it's great that Chadwick did such a great job that he's not like those other people because he would him or the new if they do recast it, him or or the, and the new guy are going to be like put up against each other like who did the good job, who did this, who was the best Black Panther. I don't want that for my brothers. I don't. I don't want that. I I, I want. Chadwick to be solidified in that position and what that is. That's that's Chadwick is solidified. The, whatever happens moving forward is not going to erase Black Panther. It's always going to be there. It's done. His his awesome performance is in the books forever. Mm-hmm. It's never going to be erased. But and I think people are especially you talking about children. Uh, people can yeah. adapt to a new actor. There's there have been two actors, two fan phenomenal actors who played the Hulk. And people forget about Edward Norton. Edward Norton is an Oscar winner too, but people people forget about him, and people forget about Rhodey. Rhodey was a different a different actor too. Now his his role is smaller, but it's not as it's not as small as as, uh, as uh, the Hulk. Yeah. So I don't see why you can't just why you can't recast him. I there there is there is a lot of fantastic black talent out there that would die for this opportunity this is uh, no, this is a yeah. golden opportunity and and, and, and you know no. and you, we, we, the last episode we had that conversation about melina being black and how if yes, if, if you have a character who starts off as one color or whatever he, he can't he or she can't change colors and the the, the, the catch 22 is all the old characters are white because they're all made by white people so that means we can just never get in here this happens to be a character that's been black the whole time, so there would that, that that argument that was that you had before is is dead. I would just love mm. to see some new black talent get get that kind of opportunity. I would love to. I know they're never going to do that because they don't want to. And I know the first knee jerk reaction that I had is the same one that you have, which you know you want to you want to you want to you kind of want to put Chad. I want to save exactly. that you, that. You, all of that. I want to see. You want to put Chadwick's performance on like a pedestal, but it. But to do that, I think you are. We're losing more than we gain. We can't get Chadwick back, but we can still get T'Challa because he's fictional. We can still. We can still get Black Panther. So I don't. I. I. It. It. It would hurt me, to to lose that. And I. And I. I. I happen to have loved Black Panther for a long time. So mm-hmm. I, it doesn't feel right to me to have a different person other than T'Challa play back Black Panther, and I know other characters have been Black Panther, but but when you yeah. think about Black Panther, you think about T'Challa. He he is the base Black Panther. There have been other characters play Batman too, but you don't you know you don't see this argument for getting other people to play other characters to play Batman. I want. I want to see T'Challa. I loved how much respect he got when he walked in the room. And I can't imagine another character, even with the same title, uh, people reacting. Like Shuri, like Shuri walking walk into the room. Have that and, same, I just feel yeah. like it wouldn't be the same. And and I want T'Challa. I, 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 what if what if we got the brother uh, Daniel Kaluuya to take the spot? That, oh, to have that actor, but he was already in Black Panther. I don't know. I'm not saying what if he is is crowned that character, that character? the yeah. king again. I, yeah, and I, crowned. I, I want. I I know that's fine, and that is okay for uh, the canon in the in the comic books to have another character be Black Panther. I just I would like to see T'Challa. I and. I don't want to. I don't want that character T'Challa to be gone forever because of a real world I, tragedy. I think Ryan Coogler made up his mind, and so did Kevin Feige. I think they made up their mind and said that they're not going to recast T'Challa, bro. I think I've read that somewhere, some article that they're going to move on and have other people play the role of Black Panther. It's just T'Challa will not be. Yeah, I mean, and and I, I know, but I don't think that. I don't think that's the right decision. I think, I, I, I think yeah. recasting uh, is the best decision. For, for, well, you're gonna have a you're gonna have a firefight in the comments below. Comment below. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think uh, uh, of Devin 
Everyone, everyone everyone's so conservative. Yeah. They're all going to be like, oh, don't touch T'Challa because they, you know, no, 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 one, no one wants to do anything fun. I want, I want to have fun. Everyone, everyone wants to, I'm going to say something really strange, but when it comes to the comics, when it comes to like comic book movies, people look at the comics and yeah. it's like, it's like the Bible. It's like, you can't touch it. You can't move it. And they, you, that's not strange. That's not that's not, but that's at all. not a good story, right? Being a slave to the comic does not necessarily make a good story. And a great example of that is a movie I saw with you when it came out in IMAX, and that's what? The Dark Knight. What? The Dark Knight was wildly different from the comics. That version of Joker couldn't be more different, and yet everyone accepted yeah. it because it was a great version and a great story and they decided to do something interesting and, and and they cast someone no one would have expected with Heath Ledger no one in the comments mm -hmm. if there if there are people down there commenting no one in the comments would have cast Heath Ledger they you know they they they, 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 they wouldn't have they wouldn't have made that version of Joker and it would have been worse uh -huh. for it yeah do, do you remember when the trailer premiered I came over oh, to your house <laughs> and we, we, we were hyped we was like ah! I, 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 I didn't like I didn't like the casting of Heath Ledger initially. I was like, Ew. I know you didn't. You didn't. You, you was like, Ew. And then, I, and then I saw. It, I was like, Whoa! I love it when they're smarter than me because it, it doesn't happen too often. <laughs> I feel like they always do the most boring thing, but I love it when they do something really interesting. And I'm like, Wow, that's fun. Yeah. But I know they're gonna do with Black Panther, like you said. They're gonna they're gonna they're gonna do the thing that offends the last pe the, the least amount of people. The thing, they're going to do the, the the quickest way to the most amount of money. They're not going to cast a new person. That's a big risk. And yep. that's a billion dollar movie. They can't do what you what you course. said. It's a billion dollar. If that, if that movie made 150 mil, they'd be like, oh right, yeah, we we'll, we'll recast. That's a billion dollar movie, dude. They're not. They're yeah, not, and they don't want to put a billion dollar movie on the shoulders of a black man. They'll do it. They'll do it for Henry Cavill. You know, <laughs> they'll do it. They'll, 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 do it, they'll do it for the entire DCEU. But they're not gonna do it <laughs> for a black guy. <laughs> like, no. And speaking of um, of the MCU here, um, I just want to talk about this briefly. Just the the trajectory of what the uh, MCU MCU has done. From 2008, starting with Iron Man, all the way through uh, the Infinity uh, War and Endgame. Boy, man, we, we have to give it up to them, man. <laughs> Am I right? Come on, man. Okay. It, it, it's like they pieced everything in detail to detail together. And I think, I think this was kind of like the first movie franchise or whatever it, you want to call it that put in credit scenes at the end to piece all these movies mm -hmm. together you know what i'm saying that, that was like kind of like a, a a a cherry on top to kind of like reel everyone in to bring more people into this probably not even fans of marvel movie or marvel comics per se to keep them going on and anticipating what's well, they coming they weren't next. the first to do in credit tags but yeah to like Tie to tie multiple movies together, yes. But I, if I if my memory stands cor uh, is correct here, uh, I think like in credit tags were considered tacky uh, <laughs> before the MCU, and so they they they, they, took, they took they took they took the in credit tag and did something interesting with it and made people really anticipate it. That's like that's like the biggest most anticipated part of uh, of, of of Marvel movies these days. The in credit tag for Far From Home is going to be really important considering what the title of the next Spider-Man movie is. Because at the end of Far From Home, his, his yeah. identity is revealed. And since he can't go mm -hmm. back, they seem to be... Funny man! Out. What do you think about that? Yeah, I, I, what I think about that is that uh, it's already been said that Peter Parker... And his friends, or mainly, of course, Peter Parker, but he's going to have, you know, uh, his friends with him. I think they're going to visit Doctor Strange. I'm Peter, by the way. Doctor Strange. Oh, you're using your made-up names. Um, I'm Spider-Man, then. 
manipulating all type of yeah, realities right. and whatever. And then the whole the rumors, the rumors on this right. movie, dude, it's yeah. crazy. Like they're saying that if this is gonna be a multiverse thing that they that they're they're bringing up, Toby McGuire is gonna be on there. They already said that they saw Alfred Molina right. there. That played Doc Ock in the original Sam Raimi uh, Spider Man 2 movie that he's already been right. on set. What's he doing right. there? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, you know, and Andrew Garfield, too. We can do it. <laughs> but he's, he, it's rumored that he's going to yeah. be there. But um, if that is the case, man, I am super excited for uh, Spider Spider Man. <laughs> I was going to ask you the question, like, what MCU uh, project are you excited for, whether it's in uh, the actual TV show series or the movies? Which one are you more excited for? You know, it's hard for me to say. I guess the answer is Doctor Strange, but uh, it's hard for me to say because I think the MCU is not going the way they initially planned it to go because, obviously, um, uh, Black Widow was supposed to be out already. And, and I think they had characters in that movie that were supposed to play a pivotal role moving forward. So I think things are, I don't want to say it hasn't started proper, but it hasn't, it, it's, it's, it's had some, it's, it's starting strange. So it's hard for me to feel exactly what's yeah. going Doctor on. Doctor Strange, but it's. Yeah. But, but I think, I think Doctor Strange <laughs> is the one I'm most interested in. Uh, the only reason I'm not super interested in Spider-Man, although I'm very, I am very interested in Spider-Man. The only reason I put Spider-Man less than Doctor Strange is because I didn't like uh, that they revealed his identity at the end. But outside, of, outside of that, uh, I think the multiverse of madness. That just sounds that, that that's Doctor Strange's title. That just sounds yeah. too interesting. Like, and it's directed by yeah, Sam Raimi, man. Ready, man. What? Oh my <laughs> God! What? <laughs> what? Okay, for people who like. Sam Raimi is one of my favorite directors of all time. I did a paper on him in college, and I got an A minus. <laughs> Don't know what, the, what I missed the plus for, but I got an A minus. And I did I did my paper on uh, his his directorial style from uh, Army of Darkness, Evil Dead, all the way up to um, uh, Spider Man One, Two, and Three. So love that man. I love his camera angles. I love his how he mixes action with comedy and comedy with, with horror. Him. It's just the thing about Sam Raimi, is he he's one of those directors who looks like he's having fun, and you can tell. You can you can you can tell, you can tell he enters some scenes with like a smile, like he's like, yeah, this this is gonna be fun. Like like in, in, in Spider Man Two, when Doc Ock is on the table and his arms are like, and he's like chopping everybody up. Yeah, I, I bet I yeah. bet. Uh, Sam Raimi was just like shaking the whole time because he was just he was enjoying it. Exactly. He's up there. Yeah, oh, exactly. yeah, oh. yeah. He's like, I'm getting off my yeah, exactly. Put that, put, put Sam Raimi. We're gonna talk about this guy later, mm -hmm. but Sam Raimi, his style. Put his style next to Zack Snyder's dour, sad boy <laughs> style. <laughs> Next time they shine your light in the sky, don't go to it. The bat is dead. Bury it. Consider this mercy. Tell me. Do you bleed? He <laughs> does not look like he's having any fun. And, it, it, I'm, oh. and I was having fun because of it. I, Sam Raimi, he seems... He, he also he also directs at least uh, his last few movies. He also directs with a lot of energy, like like you, you can feel the energy and like sincereness, which is really that's like super rare too. But the energy he has it keeps you going in the movie, and I I, I love yeah. it. Yeah. Um, one thing I want to say about the MCU, 
uh, the MCU would not exist without one, or the Marvel film anything would not exist around without one character. And we all know what that character is. He will be initially making his entry into the MCU, played by another character, yeah. Mahershala Ali. But there would be no Marvel anything without Wesley Snipes as Blade. It's the day one. the foundation for what is coming up Yo, okay i <laughs> love blade blade is just that's an awesome movie and i think i think uh exactly. i'm gonna butcher his name but i believe it was pronounced marshall Hala ali he, I, he yeah. is i think that's a great great casting choice awesome i'm super i'm super choice. excited now i i kind of hope that they don't Venture too far from the 1998 Blade, but at the same time, I hope they do something interesting. I don't know. I'm like a multiple minds of that one. I'm like super excited for next. Wasn't time. it so cool, man? 1998. I saw that Yo, in the theaters. And, and that first, ooh, that first ooh, scene ooh, ooh. With, with like with the with the blood coming out the ceiling. He was going there yeah. to get some, and then little did he know he was the thing that everyone else was gonna get. <laughs> <laughs> get down there, little man. Oh, that's my heat seeker. I bet it is. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That was awesome. And, I was really, I was, I was a little young too, so I was kind of scared. Yeah, we. I was 12. <laughs> I must have been. Yeah, I had to be 10, 10 or 11. Yeah. Yeah. But it was a different time while <laughs> parents were to watch those movies. I, it was great. No, I, was, <laughs> I, went, I went to see that like with like another one of my friends. Like it was like my parents weren't even in the, in the theater. Thank God, because like that first scene, the blood coming out, my parents were like, no. Uh, just you know, a quick uh, reminder to everyone: uh, please like and subscribe to the channel that I just said. Mostly wrong opinions. You know, it really does help out. Uh, the viewer count and helping us out uh, get the name out. So please like, subscribe to Mostly Wrong Opinions. All right. What's coming up next on the chopping block is Justice League. Yay! And the Justice League that um, did not go to the theaters, that uh, the fan base was clamming over, release the Snyder Cut, release the Snyder Cut, man. If you don't release the Snyder Cut, man, I'm going to have you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because people were like, yo, what is this Josh Whedon cartoon mess that, <laughs> that he gave us? You know what I'm saying? Uh, they wanted to see his true vision. And vision. <laughs> want to see his, his true work of uh, of art um, on, on, on that. Now, I'm going to give my opinion on the the person who directs and actually produces some of the other um, uh, what's that um, DCEU movies. Uh, Zack Snyder. Okay, uh, I am not a fan so much. I'd say about 50% of his writing style. I am a fan of his visual work. Yeah, I think <laughs> okay. Zack Snyder should be a cinematographer. Like, his his images are just they're super they're awesome. They're like, I want to say arresting. They're really good. He's really good yeah, at they, visuals. They but he's you. bad at literally everything else. So I, 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 everything else is rough. I, like you said, if in, he doesn't really write a lot of his movies, uh, he likes to use David Goyer, who ironically wrote Blade, and David Goyer also wrote um, Dark Knight. 
So some people can elevate David Gilliar's work, and other and other people they can't do anything with it. I'm already I already know the answer to what I'm about to ask this man I've known for 20 <laughs> years. <laughs> Are you excited for the new Justice League coming out um, this spring? My opinion hasn't changed from the previous episode in that I am excited for people who want to see this movie. Because, seriously, and that sounds really like, I don't know, it sounds like I'm being condescending, but it's really rare that studios listen to their, the audience and they actually do the thing that, that the, the fans want. So I'm excited for them because they 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 really it, it actually spent a lot of money like buying billboards and stuff to get this movie out and it's like their own money. Yeah. So I'm excited that they get to see this movie. I'm I'm glad that Zack Snyder gets to finish this movie because uh, he didn't get to finish it like you like you mentioned earlier. But I have no interest in seeing yeah. this movie because I know what it's going to look like and I don't think I don't think any amount of footage that you add to this can make. Can make this yeah. movie any better. This movie is a the the previous Suicide Squad. No, sorry, Suicide Squad. This previous Justice League was uh, a turd. So if you've got a turd, right? <laughs> you got a turd. Yeah, turd, yeah. right here. I got it. I'm, I'm, I got and it. You saying. say, you know what? Yeah. You know how to make this turd better. I'm gonna add another uh-huh. turd chunk on top. I don't know how this makes a um, better movie. <laughs> so so let me let me get this straight. So you got the the turd of, of Justice League that was uh, you know uh, finished by Josh Whedon, right? And then you have the uh, turd of uh, Zack Snyder, right? And you put it on there, and you have like kind of a double mountain of yeah. turdness mm-hmm. there. And so oh. people are like, people are like, oh, Shoot. I didn't like the parts that Josh Whedon added. But again, just to keep with our disgusting turd analogy, that's like saying that's like that's like that's like looking at the corn in the turd and being like, ew. It's like no, there's other gross stuff here. <laughs> like, there's, like there's, there's nothing here to like salvage so i'm not interested in the movie but i'm glad that the people who are get to see this movie because that is rare like that that's that, is, that does yeah. not happen very often and i think i think it it's one of those things that um we kind of backed our way into because it's not coming out in the theater it's coming out on hbo max so i think that's like the perfect spot for it to drop too and I, it, there's no way this would have ever come out in theaters, but it has an opportunity to live on HBO Max, which is again awesome. Yeah. And I'm never gonna knock somebody for for like liking a movie. If you love a movie, if you want to see I a movie, you. man, please. I, I'm jealous, honestly. Like I, I'm happy for. I you. mean, are, are you at least excited to see? No. Well, I don't know if I <laughs> let me. Oh, wait, wait. Are you least excited to see? Let me finish. You <laughs> already said no. Like that, like that. I didn't even hear me. Or what's that other? The, the um, uh, what's that? Cop out. No. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No. 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 Hell no. 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 You you at least aren't you? You want to see anything dealing with Dark Side or Apocalypse or anything? Dark Side is such a big character that I don't think you can tack him on to a Justice League movie. How do you tack him on and it's good? I don't. I, how do you do that? It's like it's like it's like the reason why Thanos worked really well is because they peppered Thanos through twenty movies before that. Yeah. And they he built and built and built into this like big force that was in the shadows until finally he came out and I don't yeah. know how the heck they landed this they landed that I don't know how Thanos was actually good after that build up I'm like but damn they did it but they but uh, dark side's not getting that treatment dark side's just going to they're just going right. to replace uh, Steppenwolf with dark side and we're just supposed to be okay with it like I don't know I, 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 again I'm, I'm happy for people that get that that get to see it but you know, I'm I'm not I'm not wild about it. Okay. Also, right. Dark Side. Cool. There, are, there are other characters around Dark Side that are really interesting. Like, uh, what's, what's her name? Granny Goodness. Do you know this character? Yeah, I remember Granny Goodness. Yeah, with the hammer and awesome. stuff like that. Prepare to die. Well, yeah. you can't do anything with her in um in 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 Justice League. Justice League was already. 45 years long. So you're going to tack tack her into the film too? How like this is too much. I don't I don't see how they can they this can be 
Yeah. At, at best, I at best, I feel like it could, it'll be fine. But I don't see how it can be better than that. It's not going to be monumental to you. Yeah. I, I feel like the same way. Like, I, when I saw Batman v Superman, the way that they introduced all the, all the characters on a computer oh file... Oh my god. <laughs> he's, like, he's, like, what? he's like, what is this? What? It's shameful. shameful. And they don't have you know? logos? Like, who made it, the logos? Exactly. <laughs> it, it's like, I feel like Batman v Superman should have happened later on down the line after you release all. all no, Batman, movies, you know Batman v Superman should have never happened. And that's only because they. They got Superman off on the wrong foot. And we've talked about this before. Oh, and yes, man. If Batman is dark, Superman can also... Superman cannot They can be also dark. be dark. Because now they're not versus anymore. It's just the same character attacking the same character. So, so sad and sad. If, if, if you got Sad Boy, <laughs> Superman. And then we're going to have Sad Boy, Batman. And they're they're the same. It's the same guy. So it's not interesting. The reason why Batman vs Superman works in the comics is because uh, Superman is so happy. He he's he's borderline corny. Like he's he's like so good. He's so like he's pretty much Captain America. And then on the other side, you've got Batman, who's dour and angry and hates life. And these two people don't see eye to eye on anything. That is called drama. Mm. But they don't they don't seem to understand <laughs> this for. The, the DCEU, so that's why I don't I didn't like Batman vs Superman. Well, it's one of many reasons why I didn't like Batman vs Superman, but that's one of the reasons why I didn't yeah. think that movie should have happened. Yeah, I uh, well, this is another uh, time that on mostly wrong opinions that we do agree. I don't think I enjoy Superman the way that he is, uh, that the way that he's written, that he was written in uh, a Man of Steel. Yeah. You know, um, I think DC is in a better position than Marvel to just have another Superman. Just don't even, don't say anything. Just like just like they did with Joker. They, they have a Joker movie. They don't even tell you how it connects. You assume, you assume it does not connect. So it's just like, okay, just have a new Superman. And if it works, drop him into the DCEU at large. Don't say a fucking thing. Just go. We don't need we don't need all this like exposition. I don't no no one cares. Yeah. Just, and that's 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 your take on it. And I'm interested I'm interested in seeing what happens with the whole dark side thing. I don't think that it should be there, but I'm just interested to see that. And I want to get I want to see Jared Leto's version uh, of what that could have what it could have been uh, in uh, Suicide Squad or differently. It's probably not even the same. Yeah, apparently it's a, a dream version yeah. of Joker. That's why he doesn't yeah. have tattoos on his face and all that stuff. Yeah, so that's good. Uh, but on to the DCEU here. Um, the, the the best thing in the DCEU, which I don't think that's even uh, that this film is not even connected to the DCEU, but it is a DC uh, film. Joker was great to me. It's okay. It was an amazing, amazing movie. To me. It's okay. <laughs> you it's know okay. what I'm saying? And and. Um, I actually think the Joker that's in there that's played by Joaquin Phoenix, I don't think that's the Joker that we get, that we've all known to be the clown prince of uh, of madness. And I don't think that's it. I think he inspired yeah. the crown, crown prince. Yeah, that I've, I've heard that before, because uh, the ages wouldn't match up, with because he'd be downright elderly by the time uh, Batman <laughs> or Bruce yeah. Wayne is, is, is old enough. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the Joker... The Joker worked for me the f first time I watched it, but only worked a little bit. The second time I watched it, it doesn't make the movie doesn't make any sense, bro. <laughs> it's a, it's, no. it's a bit of a mess. But I I, I, I am I'm kind of I kind of excuse it because uh, Joaquin Phoenix's performance was just so awesome. But the movie itself, yeah. Um, if I can I can like feel the editor like cutting around or something in the in that in that film. You think so? Yeah, like, is there a spot? I, I, it's not fresh in my mind anymore. But there are spots where I feel like when they filmed it, it was supposed to come earlier, and then I'm like, oh, it, it's now. I, I, I can I can like feel it. And then there's some yeah, other. Kinda... My bad. Oh, oh I was gonna Go say there, there's there's some other logistical things like that you just gloss over. 
which maybe this is smart on their part in that they make you gloss over it. But like, so mm -hmm. jo does Joker? Joker works for a clown tactic, like a clown rental company, and they and and yeah. they kind of operate like a like a taxi cab kind of type operation. Does that make like any it. sense? <laughs> no. What is that? But you it's, don't it, think about it's it. It's the eighties, man. About it. it's like, <laughs> okay, fine. But then, yeah, okay. It takes place in the uh, like seventies, eighties. But why? Is there a reason yeah. why? As a matter of fact, I feel like the story would have worked better today because Joker gets mad because he like goes viral in the film. So like, w why? Yeah. Why was it based in the in the seventies and eighties? No reason. It didn't need to be based like that. I think they just did it because it looked cool, and I, that. I, and it didn't make any sense within the story because again, Joker goes viral. So again, this is kind of mm -hmm. things with the movie. Like when you when you start chewing on the movie, like gristle, you start you start yeah. crunching on gristle. Like, huh? Okay. Uh, At first, yeah, you like, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my. <God>. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. What is this? Is exactly. this a hair? <laughs> you know, I I get I get what you're saying. Phoenix was awesome. Especially like when uh, when when you uh, mentioned the guy that was in the, the like this whoever edited the movie, I kind of feel like there's a scene where after he killed those two dudes that was on the mm -hmm. the train, and he went into that bathroom, he started doing all this dancing thing and all this, and tra finally like realizing his true inner self i think that's one of the things the the parts that you would probably probably so what about. i understand from that scene joaquin phoenix was supposed to do something else in that bathroom but that that is what he ended up doing and they they, they kept it in so i don't i don't know if there yeah. was um he had dialogue there another thing was if from my from what i understand the script wasn't finished when they were shooting the film which is not unusual for for uh, yeah. Hollywood, but I felt like I could feel it, and that's that's why I'm like I could feel the editor piecing storylines together, but and not the writer piecing these things together. Yeah, but again, I don't want to knock yeah. this movie. It's not, it's not a bad movie. It's I not, mean, you know, when you look at the person who directed it and where he came from, he came from The Hangover. Yeah. What? <laughs> this guy directed The Hangover. People. Uh, <laughs> the guy who directed Mad Max Fury Road also directed Babe. So like, <laughs> so true, true. Like, good storytelling <laughs> is good storytelling. It doesn't matter where you come from. Like, it, it's just like right. there's like good storytelling one on one. And apparently, some people have it, some people don't. That'll do, pig. That'll do. But uh, basically, the next thing I want to talk about is Outriders. Okay, and the demo is out to uh, available on all platforms right now, and it's a cross-platform looter shooter video game. Okay, if you like games that is kind of like that grinding, uh, you got to grind the work to get that get that that, that awesome skin that gives you um, for your guns that gives you like extra power, extra ammo, whatever it may be, extra stamina, extra power, whatever. Uh, whatever. This is the game for you. If you like games like Mass Effect, that is you know RPG. If you like games that are like that's like um, uh, Destiny, which is a looter shooter game. If you like games that's like The Division. Some people don't like The Division. I understand, but <laughs> it, it, it's still like that looter looter uh, shooter genre. Um, but also, if you like games like uh, Gears of War, it has that that cover type of of uh, sequence. Um, game gaming you should play the demo it's free and it's gonna be uh i think it's going to go head to head with one of the biggest looter shooter games out destiny 2. um i know a lot of people are hurting over trusting uh one of the latest uh looter shooter games called the anthem that came out in 2019 everyone hated that game <laughs> everyone loved it but they, they loved it but they hated the way it played, and it used to crash all the time. Things wouldn't load up. The the actual um, load in and load out screen uh, was really really slow. Uh, to be able to go back to the 
the uh, the tower where everyone meets and stuff. The the loading uh, screen. It was it was horrible, but uh, the Outriders. It's gonna be next up, man. It's gonna be next up. It's very bloody, and you can pick between different classes. You can p- pick the pyrotech guy that gives you like the certain powers. Um, you can uh, pick uh, the trickster, which is kind of like a uh, long range. No, that's that's the close range guy. Um, it's a lot of it's a lot of things. I, I didn't even get to dive into it so much, but I will probably be streaming it on my Twitch channel, which is twitch.tv slash Yerp Nation Gaming. And also, I'll be posting that video on my YouTube channel, which is the same thing as Europe Nation Gaming. That is it, man. <laughs> That's what we got today. Episode two. On today's episode two, we appreciate everyone who has come to watch us. This is um, a new thing for us, and it's freaking awesome. Um, if you can do us a favor. Can you please subscribe to the channel, okay? And um, my name is Tyrone, and my you can find me at my band page because I do music. I'm in a music band, a music band, <laughs> I'm in a rock band. <laughs> and you can find me on IG at um, Europe underscore ATL, Y U R P underscore ATL, and you can find my uh, Twitch streaming at twitch.tv slash Gaming. Also on YouTube with the same handle, Nation Gaming. My name is Devin. You can find me right here on Mostly Wrong Opinion. You can also find me on Instagram at DevinHarris29. Uh, and you can find some of my writing at GeekSleepRepeat. Bam! Also, remember, leave a like, okay? You know, uh, leave a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Whatever it is, you know, it is your opinion. But just remember, it's mostly wrong. Thank you. See you guys next time. <laughs> Peace. <laughs>